Hi everyone, welcome to this month's video. Now usually what I do is a what's new in beauty video where I show you all the new products that are coming up on the market, new to the market or new to my collection and I kind of give you recaps and review of those things. This month I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. I'm going to focus on just a few products that are new to me but that I've noticed throughout the month have been kind of everyday favorites. Things that I've been using more than other products that are new to me or new on the market. So that's going to be what this video is going to be about for this month. In future month, months I'll probably go back to just giving you a full view of what's new for that month in beauty, makeup, accessories, etc. But for this month this is what I'm going to do. Make sure that you check out last month's what's new in beauty video because there is a giveaway that has a few more days open to it. It's to win a bunch of profusion makeup. So if you haven't checked out that video and subscribed and entered make sure you go do that. Without further ado, let's get into the few everyday favorite products that I noticed I've been using for this past month. The first product is by Sol de Janeiro. This is a company that I mentioned several products for in last month's What's New in Beauty video, and then they sent me the Brazilian Touch Hand Cream to try out, and it is just as beautiful in terms of the fragrance, very summery, kind of uh, warm, sensual scent to it, and the product itself is very moisturizing, really nourishing on the skin. Um, I came back from vacation and my skin has been really particularly dry. This sinks into the skin. It's not heavy. It doesn't leave like a greasy film on your hands, which I really appreciate. So if you haven't checked out this brand, they've got so many different good products. If you want something that smells strong and smells of summer, and this is just another one of them. Speaking of travel, this is a cleanser that is unlike any cleanser that you've ever tried before. It is from uh, the company Aliza and it is their three-in-one face cleansing paper. There are 50 sheets that you get in here and I'll show you what it looks like. It comes in a compact, looks like it would be a foundation. You open it up and it has a protective kind of door on it. And then there are sheets in here. They're kind of, they're a little difficult to get at first but they are these paper thin sheets, solid sheets. And what you do is you put it in your hand, you add a little bit of water and then you rub it between your palms and it foams up and you use that to cleanse your face. And this is so cool, especially if you are traveling, if you are not wanting to deal with the hassle of bringing something that's a liquid and dealing with TSA and all that kind of thing. This is a really cool, innovative way to have a cleanser on hand. Um, and I've really been enjoying using this, especially during my travels, to save on space and to not worry about things spilling in my purse or in my luggage. The other cleanser, more for everyday, kind of sitting on my bathroom, a sink kind of cleanser, is from Biore. It is their baking soda acne cleansing foam. It has salicylic acid, salicylic acid treatment in it. Um, the thing with cleansers is that the treatment that they have in here, it's not gonna really do anything for your skin because a cleanser doesn't sit on your skin for long enough for any sort of medication or ingredient to be effective on the skin. So I don't really put much into that. The reason why I like this cleanser is because of the foam. The pump dispenser keeps things really clean. I don't have to take my wet hands and dump some sort of liquid into my hands. I can just put one pump um, in the palm of my hand. I like the foaming action. Um, again, just very simple, easy to use, and very effective for cleansing my skin. Now in terms of makeup, what I am wearing on my face today in this video is Cargo's Swimmables Long Wear Foundation. This is, I believe, a new foundation that they've released. So the great things about it are it is long wearing, it is very mattifying on the skin, and I, in fact, would recommend this only really for people who have normal to oily or combination skin. I think if you have dry skin, this will be absolutely not be moisturizing enough for you. But for people in the summer, especially, when you are trying to combat that oiliness, I think this is, has a great mattifying finish to it. It is strong, medium to almost full coverage. My skin is pretty bad now from traveling. I have a lot of breakouts. Um, I got a bunch of mosquito bites on my face. So I have a lot of bumps and things like that on my face and blemishes to cover up. This does a very good job of giving a good base to put concealer on top of. It's not gonna be totally full coverage, but it is pretty strong, medium to approaching full coverage. Like I said, a nice matte finish to it. Long wearing throughout the day, doesn't break down. Um, 
takes a long time to get oily to the point where you need to repowder if you have oily or combination skin. It also is very interesting because the ingredients in here include a lot of fruit extracts. So like pineapple extract, um, I forgot what some of the other ones were, apple extract, um, but it seems to be good ingredients in here also. And of course it comes in a pump, which makes it really convenient too. And then to top it off, um, an item that Becca was kind enough to send along for me to try out. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Okay, it's a loose powder. I'm gonna open it up for you. Hopefully this doesn't get too crazy. Okay, it comes like this and there is a lid that pops out this way and it has a sifter inside. This is a super finely milled powder. This is what it looks like on top of that swimmables foundation from Cargo. So a lovely finish. The unique thing about this, as you've probably heard, is it feels like you're spraying your face with water as you apply this. It feels like water on the skin. It is the most trippy experience ever, uh, but it's really nice to have this in the summertime, especially when it is hot, you feel muggy, you feel kind of gross, you want something to mattify your skin, but sometimes you also need something that has a bit of hydration to it and moisture to it. Um, that's something that I've been experiencing more and more as I get older, still having oily combination skin, but also having dryness, especially underneath the eyes. So this has been a really nice product to work with. And last up, something for the body. This is by Curel. This is their Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I use this when I am in a time crunch. Normally, I take a shower, I get out of the shower, I dry off, and then I apply moisturizer all over my body. But when I'm in a time crunch, this has been really, really nice to have. This is something that you, again, pump dispenser dispense while you're in the shower, while your um, skin is still moist or damp, and you put it all over the way that you would a regular moisturizer. It takes less time because your skin is still damp. And you can rinse it off. They say that you don't need to rinse it off. You can just step out of the shower and be done. I kind of rinse off just lightly to get the surface layer of it off. That's just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. But this really does moisturize your skin. It is kind of amazing that you can put something on, then rinse off, but have it still cling to the skin and moisturize it. Again, doesn't feel greasy or sticky at all. Um, I have a bottle that's almost done in the shower still. This is a brand new bottle, but it is something definitely that I will continue to use, especially in time crunch situations. All right, so there is a quick view of some favorite things that are new that I have really been liking this past month. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you're also subscribed to the channel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And in any case, I really appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.